Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something really different. Today I'm going to show you how I paint and respray my sewing machine. So the reason we're down on the floor is because we need to start by priming our metal. So we need to sand it back just lightly um, to make sure that the primer is going to stick to it. So what I'm using is 120 grit sandpaper, so it's nothing too dramatic. Um, it's, it's a relatively fine one, and you just have to go along and literally rub all the surface. Um, so most of this I'm obviously not going to do on camera, but you need to make sure that we get all of this and all the frames. I'm going to get my husband to remove this, um, and then we'll take it outside to spray it. Um, so yeah. Sanding first, 120 grit. Um, you should probably do this outside, so I probably won't do it right now. Um, yeah, so we're going to sand it first, and then I'll show you how to prime. Okay, so guys, I have masking taped all the metals that's left that I don't want covered, and I've also done the plaques here. Uh, this sticker didn't want to come off, but it has been standed down, uh, so that should just blend in with everything else. So now I'm up to priming it. So I'm using this Julux uh, Duramax, which is a metal primer. So I'm just going to shake this up heaps and then start spraying. To shake it for three minutes, which I have done. And so now I'm just going to apply it the first coat. Now it is, I know it still looks grey, but it is a slightly different grey. So I can see where I've been. You don't want to get too close because then you'll make it too thick. And this grey bit here that I was just painting, I will be making that one um, dark green, but it will still need the primer. So I can do it now. I need to make sure I get up in here properly. So I just literally have to crawl around it. But this is going to be worth it because it's going to look amazing. Make sure you stay a fair bit away when you're spraying. You don't want to be too close because um, it'll be too concentrated. covered. I have to give that two hours and then I'll come back and I'll put on a second right, coat. So I have let that dry for a few hours. I have shaken this up again for three minutes and so now we're going to put on coat number two. Now again you don't want to be too close. You want to move around the machine. Alright, so I'm going to do the same to this with the legs and let that dry and then we can put the colour on. Now, just a little tip, if you've never used spray paint before, if you turn it upside down and spray it like that, it gets all of the paint out of the nozzle so it won't clog up. And I always like to put the lid back on just to save the nozzle. So I'm going to let that dry for another few hours. 
Um, I actually have some stuff to do today, so probably this afternoon or this evening, I'm going to start putting the colour on. Alright guys, uh, so it's dry. It's actually been drying for like hours and hours. So now I'm going to put my colour on. So I am using Dupli Colour Auto Spray, uh, which is from Super Cheap Auto, so a car shop. Um, and I've just been shaking it for two full minutes, because that's what it suggests. And the first place I'm going to spray... And I'm going to lay this over and get up underneath because that's going to be the hardest part to get. So I want to do the difficult parts first and then I can work on the easier parts, obviously. So we'll do through there like that and then I'm going to lift it back up. Keep shaking it. The can says to keep shaking it as I go. And it says to go in horizontal movement. Now I want to make sure that I'm getting it around all of that and then along the top. So I'm doing as much horizontal work as I can. And you still want to stay a little bit away from the machine as you paint it. And just shake it up for a minute. And then again, I'm going to just check all up under here. And then I'm going to just keep moving around the machine. You'll notice I'm not moving the machine, I'm moving myself. It is quite heavy, so if I can avoid moving it, I definitely will. I'm just going to come back around here and make sure I got everywhere. All up under there is done. All right, so I'm pretty, pretty happy with that overall. Obviously under there is the hardest bit. So I am now going to let that dry for a few hours and come and put a second coat on. All right, guys, I am back. It is uh, getting a bit late here. It's like 7.30, but the sun's still out. So I can put on my second and final coat. Now, I don't have to put on a clear gloss according to the, the can. I can just leave it like this. Um, so I think I will. I don't want it too shiny because then it's going to be too reflective in videos. You'll also notice I haven't really bothered about painting the bottom of the machine because that's going to sit in. We're not going to see it anyway, so I've just decided it doesn't need to be done. But you definitely could do that, but I would tape all of the bits under here that require oil. Again, we want to start up in here. And then I'm going to go top to bottom again. I want to make sure I get the rim that's going to be seen. So then I'm going to move around the machine. It's obviously too heavy to move it, so it's easier for me to move. And I'm going to do this end. I was going to actually make this end dark green, but I think I'm just going to leave it light green. Alright, so I think I'm pretty happy with that.
that now. So once that dries, I'm going to leave it here overnight. Um, but it only has to be touch dry. And it says not to polish it for five to seven days. Well, I can. But I'm obviously not going to polish my machine. Let's put a little bit more there. Cool. So that's all done. So as soon as it's dry, I can put all of the metal pieces back on. So this green, I know the can looks the same, but we're going to be painting the legs emerald green. Uh, so this is the same dupe color that I got from the automotive car shop. Um, now I haven't taped the roof here because my theory is I can just do what like professionals do and kind of put the paper there. This is my hope anyway. I just kind of slot the paper in so that I can spray the top. This is a lovely bold colour. You have to hold it a fair way away. And then again, this is the metallic colour. There's lots of more fiddly parts on this than just the machine. Um, so this is obviously going to take longer. And all the accent pieces which are on the floor over there, they're also going to be this colour. But I decided to do the big part first. Um, I do have two cans of this. So if I do all the big parts first, because I have to manoeuvre around. Um, and then I can come back and do all the fiddly stuff. So again, I'm just going to slot the paper in there so I can get right up the top without painting my table. Now my tabletop will actually be getting um, a makeover, but it won't be here for like a month. So what I'm going to put on this tabletop is I bought an automotive car wrap vinyl um, in a pearl white. Paint says to keep shaking into go. I do really like this paint. Anyway, so I'm going to turn this off now and I'm going to paint all of this and then all of the things and then leave it sit for half the day and put a second coat on. And then I can put it all back together and she'll be done. So here's the finished product. We've got dark green accents and I've painted all of that. I've also painted under here, but it's just got the foam on it. And the legs are all nice and dark. Uh, the legs are more for my benefit than anything. Well, the whole lot's for my benefit, really. But that was a pretty quick project, and I got the whole thing done in the equivalent of a weekend. Um, so if you feel inspired and decide to make one, please come share it in my Facebook group. All right, guys. Till next time. Bye.